Uh, express his condolences uh, during this sudden time. Without further ado, Prime Minister, the Honorable Philip Davis. My dear friends, it is with great sadness that I learned this morning of the passing of Sir Sidney Poitier. Our whole Bahamas grieves and extends our deepest condolences to his family. But even as we mourn, we celebrate the life of a great Bahamian, a cultural icon, an actor and film director, an entrepreneur, civil and human rights activist, and latterly a diplomat. We admire, we admire the man, not just because of his colossal achievements, but also because of who he was, his strength of character, his willingness to stand up and be counted, and the way he plotted and navigated his life's journey. The boy who moved from the tomato farm of Cat Island to become a waiter in the United States. The young man who not only taught himself to read and write, but who made the expression of words and thoughts and feelings central to his career. The man who expressed his rage against racial injustice through quiet dignity. The humanitarian who used his steely determination not just to better himself, but to better the world that he lived in, filtered through the milk of human kindness, and all of it achieved without sacrificing integrity, charm, elegance, or wit. These things don't come easily, but the fight can be good. Your peers don't give you an Oscar, you win an Oscar. Success is not a given, but it can come to those who translate talent into craft and perseverance. As the Sydney said himself in his autobiography, you don't have to become something you are not to be better than you were. This is the mark of the man. In our national anthem, we remind ourselves to see how the world marks the manner of our bearing. So Sydney's bearing upon the world shines as among the best of us. Our country is in mourning. And so I've instructed that the Bahamian flag be flown at half-mast at home and in our embassies around the world. We know the world mourns with us. So Sydney's light will continue to shine brightly for generations to come. Any questions? Um, Prime Minister Davis, I know we, we uh, in 2012, the bridge going over to Paradise Island was named after Sir Sydney. Are you uh, satisfied or comfortable that the Bahamas has done enough to give him his flowers while he was still here to see him? Well, I think we did a lot to give him his flowers while he was alive, uh, but we have not done enough, I think. Um, we intend to sit as a government to determine what else we can do to mark his bearing in the Bahamas and the world. And that will be a discussion we have. And in due course, we'll unfold what we intend to do. As a Prime Minister, obviously we've lost a giant in art. Uh, I know in your blueprint for change, you've said that you will support uh, the creation of an orange economy in the Bahamas. Can we see that now that uh, Sir Sidney Poitier has passed? Can we see that expedited? Well, as you, as you quite rightly pointed out, the orange economy is something that we are embracing as one of the key pillars of economic growth for our country. And yes, the passing of Sir Sidney will help to propel uh, the success of our efforts in that regard, we believe. And we will be accelerating our efforts to, to embrace that opportunity. Okay, Prime Minister, thank you. Okay, thank you. For your questions, thank you very much.